Alléluia. Oh. Good evening, sir. Happy Sunday, sir. Happy Sunday, my brother. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful to you. We thank you very, very much for this glorious opportunity you are giving unto us again to come before you. As leaders and pastors, we want to seek your face again. We are asking, O oh Lord God in heaven, you will hear us. Lord, by your spirit and your power to pray to us. We will not struggle in the place of prayer. That, Amen. Lord, we will be strengthened to pray. We will be quickened to pray. Amen. We will be energized to pray. And the fire of prayer shall hit us greatly, mightily, and powerfully in Jesus' name. Amen. Spirit of you touch our lives, transform our life, and do us good to the glory of your name. Thank you, Lord, Amen. because you answered. Thank you, Lord. In the name we pray. Amen. At this time, we want to begin to reverence, bow, bend, worship, and give glory unto the Most High God for His loving kindness and tender mercy. Let's honor the name of our God. Let's worship Him. Let's praise Him in the beauty of holy name. The Bible Father, says, God, Give it worship to the Father who had made us to be part of the in life. Oh Lord, we reference you for the great and mighty things and I'm doing for us. Into the Let I exalt your name, O Lord, for everything. See glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because you are God. Lord, we adore your name, O Lord, because there's none like unto you. My Lord, the thing is bless you. Oh Lord, God, now we worship you. Father God, now we reference you. Say glory, honor, adoration, and thanks be unto your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for how he has bound, you know, bound us together in spite of all of the things that have been coming and going. There are a lot of things that have scattered us. There are a lot of things that would have caused us trouble. There are a lot of things that would have caused us issues on this platform. But God has been most faithful that despite all of the things, misrepresentation and some kind of uh, insinuation and some kind of uh, you know misunderstanding and the rest of them, God has been faithful and helping us. And the platform is waxing stronger and stronger. And we want to thank God for the intervention, healing, deliverance, and the answers to prayer we have received on this platform. Let's open our mouths and give thanks unto our God. We will not be English. We will show our appreciation and our gratitude unto the one who has been faithful unto us. Open your mouth and worship him. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to pray and tell the Lord tonight in the name of Jesus that the God of heaven we have his way. The God of heaven we take absolute control of the meeting tonight. Let the spirit of prayer, let the power of prayer, let the grace to pray. The Bible says it shall come to pass that I will fall upon the house of David and the habitants of Israel, the spirit of grace and supplication, that the spirit of God will pray to us. 
The Bible says we know not what to pray, but the Spirit effort our infirmity with groanings which cannot be uttered. Let the Holy Ghost pray through me. Let the power of the living God pray through me. I will not struggle in the place of prayer. Let me be energized and quickened in the place of prayer. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit, let the power of the Holy Spirit, let the grace that come through the Spirit of the Lord fire me up in the place of prayer tonight. Lord, let me ascend the throne of mercy. Let me ascend the throne of encounter. Let me ascend, oh God, to dimension that you have planned and purpose for me. I will not miss out tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's talk to God in prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. At this time, we want to pray for all our pastors who are down, who are down in one way or the other. Maybe those who are down economically or those who are down the, let's start with that, economically, that the God of heaven will raise them up. Jesus is our helper. Jesus is our helper. He's our provider. In the name of Jesus, that the God of heaven will raise them up. Those who are down, down emotionally, those who are down, Jesus speaking, and he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and every leading, and I will give you rest. Whatever bedding in their heart, beddings are lifted at Calvary. Let every bedding be lifted in the life of our pastors, in the life of our leaders, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the hand of the Lord shall reach out to everyone, that the power of the living God shall reach out to everyone, that the power of the living God will touch everyone by the Spirit of God and the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Lord heal. Let the Lord provide. Provide for all our pastors. Provide for all our leaders. None, O oh God, my Father. None, O oh Lord God, will be struggling here and there. None, O oh God, will be eating from hands to mouth. None, O oh God, my Father, will become a kind of mockery. Lord, to the sinners, to the people of the world, Lord, that they will not make a catch all of your people. Let there be supernatural abundance, supernatural supply, supply from the monarch of Zion, supply from heaven, supply from above, supply from the throne of mercy. Let it happen, O oh God, do it and take the glory. Do it and take the honor. Do it and take the adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. We pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray and tell the Lord for our pastors, as many of them who are going through some challenges. We we'll pray for those who are having challenges financially, as many of them who are going through some pain, psychological pain, emotional pain, marital pain, and injury or whatsoever. We want to ask the Lord, the Bible says in Scripture, as we read from the Bible, look at it in Abel. The scripture tells us, for we have not an eye priest in Abel chapter 4, verse 15, what cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. We want to pray, we have an eye priest. We have an eye priest. And the songwriter said, oh yes, he cares. I know he cares. He's, uh, he's touched with my grace. When the days I will read the Lord, when the days are Savior care. Oh, yeah. When the days are I dread, I know. My Savior, yes. Pray. Whatever is better. 
Yeah, whatever is bringing tears and pain, oh, the emotional lie, psychological lie, in their secular lie. Let the Holy Ghost intervene right now in their lie. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. I've lost touch. In as the many mighty people. name of Jesus. God in the name of the glory. Going through. As they are fed up. They are fed up. We need to get to the challenges. Pastor, so do I know. Let I know it here. Future no problem with the other father that I pray. I pray for me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who will not do not be weary? They will not be tired. Me, Jehovah, let's go on there. Jehovah, let's go on there. Jehovah, let's go on there. Jehovah, Jehovah, let's go on there. Jehovah, let's go on there. Jehovah la Sayone, Jehovah la Sayone. And we pray. I report to any father. In the name of Jesus, I so promise you that you never leave or forsake us, oh Lord. Father, Lord, in time, time like this, Lord, we need a savior. Father, in time like this, oh Lord, show yourself mighty, oh God, to us in every situation. That we be passing through, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And encourage our soul, Lord. Encourage us, Lord. Amen. Let's listen. Amen. I want to pray. Tell the Lord that this time, as many pastors who are ill, you know, when we talk about illness or sickness, it's not until someone is hospitalized. You could see a pastor preaching and yet is ill. It's, mm. it's not, you could see a pastor who is firing and yet is, is sick. He's sick Father. by one thing or the other. It could be having one terminal issue. It could be having HBP, that's high blood pressure. It could be having one issue with the health condition or whatsoever. And just managing life and managing situation. As many of our mm. leaders and workers and workers who are mm. sick, mm. Ill, and they are not strong and they are not fine. The bomb of Gilead. As when you are in physical, Jehovah Lord the Lord, oh Lord, you said it that word has come. It's about to be that my first and the best that has so far tried to go for the Lord. Come and restore our earth in Jesus' name. Even the way that I'm feeling now, Father, I pray. Oh Lord, I accept you to protect you from the nation from your God. In the name of Jesus Christ, touch me, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Touch as many souls who are Lord that are sick, O Lord. As many souls that are ill, O Lord, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. That, O Lord, you heal, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, O my God, you have no promise us in thy world. We say you put on all the disease, you put upon the disease, and upon all the people. My Father, my God, take away infirmity. Jesus has taken away from the midst of us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Give us good eyes, O Lord, and long life to enjoy it, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Give us long life and good eyes in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, Lord, on this platform. We shall not be rid of anyone in Jesus' name. O Jehovah, you are the great physician. Lord, we are praying, Father, come and do what you do. Give us to God in our life. In Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Amen. Amen. Want to pray and tell the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus, as many pastors that are under the satanic attack, Jesus is our deliverer. The Lord will deliver. In Psalm 45. <laughs> Call a pastor. Every pastor under the attack of the devil, any pastor under the attack of the enemy, 
pastor under the attack of the evil one, any pastor under the dominary power of Satan, in the name of Jesus, it is broken right now. It is destroyed and shattered. You will deliver that pastor. You will rescue that pastor. You will set that pastor free. In the name of Jesus, all bondages of the wicked, all bondages of the evil one, all bondages of the enemy, those bondages are broken, those bondages are destroyed, those bondages are crushed by the power in the spirit, by the power of the Holy Ghost. And our people are delivered, our pastors are live, delivered, our men and women are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, in the name of the Lord, all strange sicknesses and income to you, thou that dwellest upon many water and abundance in treasure, thy end has come. Let the end of that sickness come. Let the end of that sickness come. Let the end of that evil come. Let the end of oh Jesus, in the name of the Lord, by the power of God, it is coming to an end. And they are delivered from all strange illnesses, even tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 We are going to ask the Lord. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus that all our pastors will, will show evidence of the new biblical doctrine and real sanctification spirit. You know, the church is that people claim to be sanctified, but you cannot see real, genuine sanctification experience. You cannot see what shows that that, that pastor or that man is sanctified. He preaches it. it about it. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Bible says that the church is standing, let him take it as you follow God. I have for all our pastors who God in the name of Jesus Christ, that the spirit of pride will not enter to them, O Lord, in Jesus' name. The spirit of pride says, O Lord, will not enter to them in Jesus' name. The grace will be watchful and be prayerful, Father, Lord, at all times. Jehovah, give unto every one of them, O Lord, in Jesus' name. As many who have I know that many have gotten it before, as many who have lost this transmission experience, oh Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus, I so Lord, as we learn in church today, that the criteria for one father Lord to be is to be sanctified and abide, oh Lord, in the time. Fire for 
Spirit, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I cast it your power. I don't ask my father to plant every child alive. Oh, Visit us again. We want to begin to see our sign. We want to begin to see our sign again. Lord Jesus, Lord, I told the people today, I told the people we had combined service. And the why and they they start the scripture doing the combine. And I was telling the people, I was telling them, because sometimes when you hear the message of repentance, 
they begin to direct message of repentance to sinners. Whereas I review to them today, every unconfessed sin shall be saved. Severely judged by God on the final day. I reveal to them and I told them point blank, even believers need to repent. There are areas you need to repent. And I show them clearly how it is scriptural. Believers who need repentance, there are areas you need to repent. It could be the way we talk, it could be the way we think, it could be the way we act, it could be the way we behave, it could be the way we do things. I talked about paying of tithes and offering. I talked about, uh, you know, gossip in the church. I talked about people piling up restitution and they will not do it. I talked about different areas where we need repentance. And I and I and I told the church why we do not see what we ought to be seeing again. A lot of foundational issues and problems and a lot of things that come upon our foundation. No sensitivity anymore. People can no longer apologize when they make mistakes and when they say things they ought not to say we pile up guilt and condemnation no wonder no fire again no wonder no zest and zeal anymore no wonder people come to church they are cold they are lukewarm and lethargic no wonder people come to church Almighty my Father God, that your Almighty and will prevail upon the life of this children, my Father, once again, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh, gracious God, immortal God, I'm asking my Father once again, O oh God, let your hand, O oh God, be upon the life of the children once again, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. We know you've answered. We believe beyond and above what we have asked of you, you will do. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. That's to Pastor Shemus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I wish Pastor Yomi will still continue because uh, I'm really flowing along by the grace of God. Uh, I don't know if you can still continue. In that same spirit, so by the grace of God. We are going to tell the Lord. going to tell the Lord. I'm reading Genesis chapter 35, Genesis 35, and taking it quickly from verse three. There was something very strange that happened there, and that's exactly the state of the church today in Genesis 35. Many times you find some of our leader and some of our people rather. Let me not say leader now. They glamorize in the fact that we are in deeper life. And what they do not realize that a lot of things is missing now in the church. And this was not the church we met even when I came in as a teenager. And look at what has happened. I show you from scripture now. In Genesis 35, quickly, Genesis 35, and they were told in that verse 3, in verse 3, what has happened? That's exactly the state of many. Some will say, oh, the GS is doing GCK. And, and all of that, and all of that, and there, there's revival here, there's revival there. Many are just deceiving themselves. You check the personal life, we're not talking of GS now, we're talking of our district, we're talking of our group, our region. Look at majority of the people who come into the church. Look at it in Genesis 35, and then we're leading verse 3. And let us arise and go up to Bethel. Now, in verse 2, and Jacob stepped unto his household, and to the all that were within, put away the strange God that are among you, and be clean, and change your garment. Can you imagine? This was a man that had an encounter in Genesis 28. He saw a Genesis 20, and then he saw a ladder. And then in Genesis 28, a lot of things that, you know, that happened to. And then coming to Genesis 35 now, these men, these people, the family of Jacob, at what strange gods and Jacob knew. Mm -hmm. Jacob knew 
before the encounter in verse 1, he had probably allowed those strange God to be. So he knew and he could not talk. And thank God for the encounter in verse 1. And he said, okay, look at it now in verse 4. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange God that were in their hand. Can you imagine? So they were having strange God in their hand and all their mm. hearing the air. And Jacob hid them under the oak, which was by shaking. I don't want to die in shaking. Rapture must not beat me while in shaking. If he says something terrible, if the trumpet sound were found as shaking, instead of being found as better, shaking is not my portion. But many lies are in shaking now in the church. They attend GCK, but they are still shaking. They talk about GCK, yet yeah, they are still are shaking. There are even those who invite other people to GCK, yet yeah, they are still are shaking. Every string God that has come into our family, every string God that has come into our church, every string God that has come into our life, it can be anything. Everything can be anything. Yeah, every night, tension and everything. Who's who are you that are in my Something that we that we that we that we that we amazed us in verse five, and they joining who joining now Jacob and they joining, and the terror of God was upon the city where they ran about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. That's actually what we knew about our church. This was what we knew about deeper life. The terror of God was upon them. The terror of God was upon the adulterer, kidnapper, upon the witches and wizards. If they dare want to touch a true child of God in the church. But what is it today? You find members running elder skelter now for witches and wizards. And then sometimes it is a shame. The things we hear today, they are on, on, on Edo. They are they, they should call for concern. And the kind of Christians we are raising today, baby, baby Christian. Unfortunately, some of them have even mounted to leadership position. But by the time you look at their understanding, by the time you look at the depth, and you look at the depth of their understanding of scripture, they are, they are already in leadership position. They are already preaching to other people. And mm -hmm. yet, they cannot stand before witches and wizards. And then oh. any little threat in the dream like this, a lot is happening. A lot has gone wrong. A lot has gone wrong. A lot. Have you realized when we preach in the church and you tell the people, let's rise up and pray? Everywhere is like graveyard. Everywhere is cold and look cold. Many people don't even have the dream and prayer meeting anymore. Everywhere is dry. Our side. We have having this show. Everywhere is dry. Claim that we all get we get preaching. We practice what we practice what we practice. We we practice that said study. When there is no prayer, you see. That's why we want to cry to God. All the problems that are threatening to our land, all the darkness and loopholes, the only thing that we can be done is that we are solid. That have cut it our life and our church and our family. That have made us to become quiet and cold and 
one. Let the Father descend and drive this train thing out. Hey, if you are concerned, into our life, Father God, Jesus, taking for peace out of our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, as a Father. Oh, when you call me the Lord, upon the Lord, in the so I want that no In Jesus precious name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. We are grateful. We know no doubt you have had us. We believe you have had us. We believe, oh God, the situation of the church, our lives, our family will not remain the same after tonight. We trust you, Lord God, that you will visit us. We are tired of the rubbish of we are seeing. We are tired of all of the idols that are crept in imperceptibly. We are tired, oh God, of the coldness and lukewarmness and lethargy. We are tired, oh God, of dry messages. We are tired, oh God, of the things, Lord Jesus, where we do not see our sign anymore. We are tired, oh God, my Father. 
of the lives we are living that are not God's glorifying. We are tired, oh God, of glamorizing in preaching holiness, Lord, without the power of the living God. We are tired, oh God, in glamorizing in preaching sound doctrine, and yet our lives are not sound in any way. We are tired, oh God, of hypocrisy. We are tired of sanctimonious lie. We are tired of, oh God, religiosity without corresponding righteousness. Holy Father, we pray, whatever in our life, oh God, that is not in total conformity with, with your will, let your blood that was shared, the Bible say, by the blood of the everlasting covenant, have I sent forth my prison and from the pea where there is no water. I pray that that blood will be applied to our soul, will be applied to our spirit, and we cleanse and purge and purify us totally tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will be no stain anymore. There will be no blemish anymore. There will be no spots anymore. There will be no wrinkle anymore. Put fire in our bosom. Put fire in our our soul. How many now go for evangelism on their own? How many now go, you know, can say, oh, I have a convert within a week. I have a convert within a more. Everywhere is that becoming like maintenance ministry. Just come to Bible study, go back home, come to revival hour, go back home. And it's like religious city, just coming to church, going back. No impact on sinner, no impact part of unbeliever, no impact on young people who are dying in iniquity and dying in evil, and we are just doing maintenance ministry and maintaining God. Jesus. We drive us to schools, we drive us to places and make us do something for our holy God. We will not only be waiting for GCK every more in our little corner where we burn, in our little corner where we burn. In our little corner, we will burn. In our little corner, we will fire all. In our little corner, we will fire all. So please, we will do something unimaginable. We will not cause you shame. We will not make you unhappy. Oh, you told that man. Hey, leave it this year also. Leave it this year. We are pleading. Area law where you have been saying, oh, cut it down. Cut it is not producing anything. The law we are saying, we are sorry. We will produce food this time. We will produce food. We will produce food. We will go out and be valiant for our God. And as we do, you will use us mightily for your glory. Oh, that we will be the extended hands of Jesus. Oh, that we will be a mighty instrument in your hand. Oh, that we will be a mighty vessel in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil is recruiting men and women to waste men, to waste boys and girls, and to destroy destiny. Oh, we will not fold our hands anymore. We will rise up to our feet and be valiant for our God. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, bless the Holy Spirit of God for the visitation and for what you have done tonight. How I pray it to be permanent. How I pray to be prepared how I pray to be forever in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. By the grace of the Lord, we have heard the pillar of warning on the um, about Lord's wife when he was going out. Uh, there was a warning for him that they shouldn't look back. The wife of Lot looked back, and then as mm. a result of that, it become the pillar. Mm. Of ah, you will not call upon the name of the Lord. This is people, this is family. Uh, mm. My experience now, uh, when you look at the like our leader, Pastor Yomi, but the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, that will not be his uh, portion in Jesus' name. Uh, there's a lot Amen. we have heard from him. Uh, Pastor Peter was sharing it. That despite that they know that the senior him, when we are talking about marriage, they don't miss the uh, uh, the assisting law, the uh, the divine the intervention, just because Pastor Yomi is going to lead. Uh, when you look at the way he's talking about his wife. 
by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not lose each other in Jesus' name. Amen. They will not miss each other in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Oh, my God, that has been holding them, we hold them to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As they are being testimony to the other people, uh, their testimony will continue to be sound and sound and sound before everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will not that if God can make lords lose his wife and the journey continue. Then the Lord's wife become insignificant. He was for totally, uh, it's forgotten correct in English. He was totally forgot. And then their, their whole journey continued. You now call upon the name of the Lord. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, as we are going to better, as our leader of the written of, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not lose your wife, you will not lose your husband in this journey. Amen. You will not lose your children, you will not lose your family. You will not lose your family. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Yes, we have received the warning. We have received the instruction. Not so many people will get there. That's very sure. That's very really sure. Not every deeper life is better. Not every redeemer is going to get it. Not every winner is going to get it. But we have received instruction. We have received the pillar. We have received the warning today that yes, there is need for a Christian to go by the name of Jesus. But the power and the blood of Jesus Christ on this journey to battle, you will not miss your wife. On this journey to battle, you will not miss your husband. On this journey to battle, you will not miss your children. On this journey to the to the battle, your children will not miss you. On this journey to the to the battle, your children will not miss your their daddy. Or these children to the better, their daddy will not miss it. We will not, we will not, we, the daddy will not miss their children. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Let's say, not maybe we are using his hand to guide the face of his, to his wife. That my dear, I know you, you are very flexible. I know you, you are not ready. But this journey is the instruction of the Lord. I don't want to trust you. Maybe Lord will have been taking the place of his wife. Maybe he will have been even cover it. He might have even said, you just keep it in front. So that when you want to look back, I will, I will guide you. I will not look back. But unfortunately, what happened, happened. But the, the, the Lord will be called a pillar of such immediately. We have received our confidence warning today. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will take all your family there in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not miss them. I will not miss them. You will not miss them. I will not miss them. Will not miss them. You will not miss your wife. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your wife will not miss you. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not miss your husband. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your husband will not miss you. You will not miss your children. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your children will not miss you. You will get to the land together. We will get to the land together. We will receive the blessing together. We will receive the blessing together. Yes, it is true that the race, the the, the race is not for the for the beginner. But those people who are able to make it to the end, you will make it to the end. Your family will make it to the end. You will make it to the end. Your wife will make it to the end. You will make it to the end. Your children will make it to the end. You will make it to the end. Your own family will make it to the end. We will make it to the end. I will make it to the end by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will make it to the end. My family will make it to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Define oppression. Define oppression in the family. Define oppression in my surrounding. Define oppression including my extended family. God will do in the name of Jesus Christ. My testimony will be full. My testimony will be full. On my children, on my wife, on my on, 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 on my husband, on everything God has given to me. By Father, the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, my testimony will be full in the name of Jesus Christ. Of your, your, your wife will not become a pillar of salt. Your husband will not become a pillar of salt. In this journey to the better, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your children will not be, become a pillar of salt. You yourself will not become a pillar of salt. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible let me know those people who are sad. They should be careful. They should be watchful. They should be careful. They should be watchful. They should be careful. The, 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 the race is not for the beginner. 
But those people who are able to run, to run it to the end, you will run it to the end. I uh, will run it to the end. You will run it to the end. I uh, will run it to the end. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not miss you. You will, will, you will not miss me. By the power and the blood, we will not miss your wife. We will not miss your husband. You will not miss your, uh, your children. You will not miss me. You will not miss my spouse. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not miss my children. In the name of Jesus, Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. When the uh, the pastor of the Abuja, uh, uh, you know, I don't have good pronunciation. Don't mind me. Uh, the, is he uh, Enoche or what is his name? I'm very sorry. I'm not disrespecting him. Uh, I when don't just the eh the pastor. pastor of the, uh, 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 do you remember when he was introducing this GS? He said he has been the past of the church. And many of us that we do not know that the weight starts from holiness. That he started learning of the holiness, practice of the holiness before going to deeper life, then to uh winner, then start the church. So you what you are not trying to say, we start holiness, everything is nothing. We now call up. And then it is that holiness that can tell us to the better. Better itself me what me a lot of things to those people who get there. We now call upon the name of the Lord. Father, whatever that we take holiness out of my mind, whatever that we take holiness out of my life, whatever that we take holiness out of my family, whatever that we take holiness out of my, uh, my husband, whatever that we take, as, as pastor, you always say, Nyaka them this evening in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lamb. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible let us say, see, give what the kingdom of God. What is that? Holiness. Holiness. He said, after you have found that kingdom of God, which is holiness, he said, all that he shall follow. He said, all that he shall follow. He said, all that he shall follow. Call upon the when we are talking about being wet in the world, I have nothing with them. When they are talking about being rich in the 